Hey guys, welcome to eBike Reviews and Adventures, and today we're going to take a closer look at this Ad Motor M81 cargo style e-bike. I'm going to tell you some of the things that I really like about this cargo bike, a few things that I think probably could be improved upon, but hey, let's just get into it and take a closer look. All right, first of all, I want to thank Ad Motor for sending this M81 to me to not only do a test and review like I normally do, but Ad Motor is sponsoring a 250 mile four day ride that I've got planned here for the end of October and uh, I reached out to them and told them my needs and what I was looking for and they said hey we would be happy to help you out and support you with this bike and I chose this bike for a couple different reasons and we'll kind of get into that but a big shout out to Ad Motor uh, for supporting my channel and sponsoring this ride. Now let's get into some of the reasons why I really really like this cargo e-bike. We'll start out with some of the basics. We have a 750 watt motor back here that does have 80 newton meters of torque. Now that is an Ad Motor branded motor, but I'll tell you what, that motor is super quiet and you'll see that or you'll hear that in the, uh, some of the riding footage that we do. This bike is equipped with a 20 amp hour battery and it's kind of uniquely positioned right there in front of the seat. We'll talk more about that in just a moment, but a nice huge battery to get me down the road for a long distance. Let's go ahead and get going up here in the front now. Up here in the front, we do have some Kenda Crusade tires. I love Kenda Crusades. They're a super nice tire. Nice to see that they put uh, good brand tires on here. We do have the AdShox suspension up here uh, with the adjustment knob and lockout. That is super nice. I believe that's 100 millimeters of travel there, and it is great. Guys, if you've seen my channel before, you've heard me say cargo bikes should definitely have suspension on the front. And so many cargo bikes do not have suspension on the front. And I'm really happy to see that AdMotor added that because I think it's necessary when you're hauling kids or when you're hauling uh, precious cargo, you, you want to have a smooth ride. And they offered that. Up here in the front, we do have an integrated front headlight. And right behind that, we have a horn. Kind of unique style right there, but uh, we'll get to that horn in just a moment. And we do have this front basket right here that mounts directly to the head tube and I appreciate that as well. We have metal fenders, not cheap plastic, and that's going to move on down the side of the bike here. Uh, over there you can see some of the wire wrap wrapped up really nice, and it goes into the bike frame there. You'll notice that the bike frame is a tubular style, and it's kind of small, okay? It's not, it's not huge like some bikes are. It's not big and clunky. Back here we have where the 20 amp hour battery is housed, and this battery does have a button right here on the front and you have to push that button each time to wake up the battery before you turn on the bike up here with the power button. One of the things that I don't care for so much, it's simple, it's just an, e an extra step you have to do. Right behind that we do have the controller. Now this front crank is a little small and I don't remember the specs on it, I'll try to put it on the screen, but it seems like that was like a 46 tooth chain ring and I'll tell you when you're pedaling uh, you kind of notice because you do have quite a bit of ghost pedaling at higher speeds. Moving on down to the back here, you'll notice that we have a nice chain guard all the way down because that helps protect passengers that may be here on the back of the bike. So it's nice having that chain ring there. We do have some accessories here that they provided. So we've got these really nice uh, metallic foot pegs or foot rest. Now I like these compared to some others because others that I have reviewed on this channel, they had a hinge right here and they kind of folded up and folded down and that hinge became a weak spot. In fact, it was just a really weak place and you didn't really want to step on it at all. But these are solid aluminum. They're welded nice. They're attached on well. So you could easily step on those and not have any problems or concern about breaking them or snapping something off. We have the Shimano Altus derailleur back here with a derailleur guard. So I'd like to see that. Now, getting back up here to the cargo bike or the cargo area, you'll notice that we've got a huge rack up here. You've got 25 inches of space up here to be able to haul things or to uh, haul passengers. Now you can easily put two smaller passengers on the back of this bike. Uh, you can attach two car seats to the back of this bike if you've got smaller children. And I love that, that it is so long, gives you so much uh, versatility there for hauling cargo. Back here in the back, we do have integrated tail lights and brake light, as well as blinkers. So this bike does have blinkers. However, that's an area that could be improved upon because the blinkers are super small. They're hard to see uh, in the daytime, um, a little bit better at night, 
but they're also kind of close together. I like it when blinkers are completely separate from the light. It makes it easy to see which one is blinking. Now moving around on this side of the bike, we do have metallic pedals right here, which are pretty nice. It's a lot better than having plastic. Up here, the saddle, we have quick release saddle, and we've got this Ad Motor branded saddle. It's, uh, it's pretty firm. Um, that's gonna be something I'll probably upgrade, but I like that it has this little handle right here, making it easy to grab it if you need to reposition the bike or something, but it's also a place for a passenger to hold on to also. So that's kind of nice right there. Let's move on up here into the cockpit area and take a closer look at a few things. You'll notice right offhand that we have this saddle brown uh, faux leather wrapped stitched uh, handlebar grips. Those are actually really nice. I like those, they feel good. And I like that they're the saddle brown because it kind of matches the rest of the bike a little bit there. Now this is something fairly new for AdMotor, but they have a new branded button pad over here. And it's kind of, yeah, it's really interesting. Up here on the top, you have your blinkers. So you have your left and right, and you have a horn. And it sounds a little different than a lot of other uh, electronic horns. It's not quite as aggressive, although it's very loud. Then you have your uh, up and down arrows for your pedal assist setting. Right below that, you have your power button right there. Now these brakes, I didn't talk about those earlier, but these are AdMotor branded hydraulic disc brakes with 180 millimeter rotors. And you know, even though they're AdMotor branded, they're good quality. I haven't had any concern with these brakes. They do a very good job of stopping this heavy bike. Uh, no, no noise or squeaking or anything like that. So I'm really happy with those. Uh, the brakes just feel really good when you grab them. You know you're getting something there. And uh, the confidence is that you can stop quickly if you need to. Moving across, we do have an accessory item here. AdMotor provided this uh, handlebar extender because if you notice here, the handlebars, they got a really nice shape to them, but there's not a lot of real estate here to be able to add attachments, especially like a cell phone holder. So they provided that and I appreciate that. Now these handlebars are adjustable right here. You just uh, uh, loosen up those screws and you can rotate these handlebars back and forth as well as the handlebar stem is adjustable. So you can lay these handlebars flat or keep them upright where they are. Moving over to the right, we do have the standard Shimano SIS shifter, seven speed, and we have a twist throttle. Now one thing that's unique about this twist throttle right here is it's got a little safety button right here that you can push. And when that's engaged, you can hit the throttle and nothing's going to happen. So I kind of like that. Just a little extra safety feature. You have to push that button before hitting the throttle and taking off. The LCD display right here is AdMotor branded and it looks nice. You can see it easily in the daytime. Uh, and it shows us everything that we would expect to see there. We do have seven pedal assist settings, which is nice to be able to regulate uh, our, our speed. I will tell you this, this bike tops out at 20 miles per hour. I do wish it had the feature to unlock and go a little bit faster because sometimes I do like going faster. Uh, but you know, nonetheless, 20 miles an hour is okay. With the combined chain ring, um, you start getting ghost pedaling at around 15 miles per hour, unless you're a younger guy maybe and you can, and you can uh, pedal a lot faster. But for me, I can comfortably ride at 14, maybe 15 miles per hour. Anything beyond that, I'm starting to get aggressive with trying to spin the, the crank to keep up with it. I start getting ghost pedaling. So anything beyond 15, I just use the throttle. And that's been working out great for me. Okay, let's talk for a minute about a couple things that could be improved upon. Even though this bike is outstanding, the way it's built, uh, it looks great. It comes in multiple colors. Uh, I like that. I like having options. Um, you know, there's just, there's a couple things that could be improved upon. One being some of the accessories. Back here, let's start with the foot pegs. The foot pegs, although they're great on this side, a little difficult to install because you'll notice this screw on the back side is almost right up against this disc brake right here. So it does make it just a little bit hard to squeeze in there to be able to put the nut on the back side of that. So that's something that could be improved upon. Also, this bike only comes with one kickstand. Now I think a cargo style e-bike should have this standard style kickstand because it makes it easy to get on and off and move the bike around like in your garage or something. But it should also come with the double kickstand and this one doesn't. It's got a mounting place for it, but it doesn't have one. And that's important for a cargo bike because when you're hauling children around, you want that bike to stand up straight. Or maybe you've got a lot of cargo, you're utilizing this big rack, a lot of cargo stacked up, maybe some of it's heavy and you don't want your bike leaning over like this 
because then it could get tippy with you. So I wish they had included the double kickstand down there. That's something that could be improved upon on any future generations that they build. As with any standard bike, the saddles often look nice, but this one is pretty firm also. And just every bike I've owned, I've upgraded the saddle, and that's no different on this one because it's just pretty hard, especially considering that I'm going to be taking this out for a really long trip. Now, another thing that can be improved upon is we're still talking about accessories here, and that is they lack some accessories that you would expect to find in a cargo e-bike. For instance, there's no basket uh, for the rear, so if you want to get a basket, you're going to have to use a... Uh, an aftermarket basket and then just maybe zip tie it on or something so that would be one. Oh, another one is the uh, the seat cushion back here if you'll notice the placement of that seat cushion okay uh, that's where the screw holes are there's two screws mounted here and another two about here so that's where you have to mount that seat cushion to but it's a little far forward compared to where the foot pegs are I would like to have seen this seat cushion moved a little more towards the rear making it a little more comfortable for someone to sit on it and then still utilize those foot pegs. So again, that's a, another improvement that could be made on a future generation of this bike. And you know, it has nothing to do with the bike itself. It's just the accessories. They, they show pictures on the website of small children riding in uh, car seats that are attached to the bike, but they don't actually sell the car seats and they don't show you or tell you where to get them or which ones will actually fit the cargo bike. So that's something that could be improved upon. I'm sure they can tell you uh, what car seats were used during the photo shoot of some of the uh, some of the uh, marketing material that they made, and maybe you can go and find the seats from there if you are needing seats. Another slight thing that could be improved upon, again going back to accessories, this light up here, kind of small, um, but I will tell you that the wiring is really tight all the way up. So if you plan to raise the handlebar, which I need to. Because I sit just a little bit, a little bit forward, and I want to be, uh, I want to have a little more upright position. And I'm a tall guy, right? Most people aren't tall as, as I am. But there's not a lot of wiring here. Uh, this bundle of wiring, there's plenty of excess. But there's a couple of wires down here. The light being one of them, and also, yeah, the, the light and the horn here. There's not a lot of excess, so I'm not sure how much I'll be able to raise the handlebar up, just because. Uh, there's just not a lot of extra wire there. There wasn't enough wire to move the headlight to the front of the basket, even though there's a mounting point up here. I couldn't do that. Uh, I'm going to have to buy like an extension or something to, to plug this light in in order to move it up here. Now on that note, I will be replacing that light because I broke it. That was my fault, not Ad Motors, but uh, I did break that light. I actually... Uh, it let the, the, the front tire swing almost completely around and it stretched the wiring and it pulled the wiring loose and actually broke one of the wires. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace that light and I'm getting one that has a longer cord so that I can mount it up here on the basket. All right guys, that's probably enough uh, yakety yak, right? Let's just get out here and do some riding and uh, we'll discuss a few more things as we move along. All right, how often has there been something in your path, I'll, I don't know, like a tripod, and it required you to leave the, the regular path and maybe cut across the grass, a field, or, or you know, maybe going through a construction zone or something, and you need that capability. And with a true fat tire cargo bike like this, with the 20 by four tires, and with the suspension on the front forks, it makes a comfortable ride. You can zip around, go through the grass, uh, hit some bumps, and not be worrying about, you know, bucking a child off the back of the cargo bike, you know, back off, off the back rack. You don't have to worry about breaking the eggs you just bought at the grocery store because this bike rides nice and smooth, you know, off the hard surface.
Now it doesn't matter if you're cruising down a country road or if you're cutting across the grass or if you're you know going down a dirt or even a gravel path uh, this bike is more than capable of handling it it's got good power good speed got good grip on the tires so it can handle just about anything that you throw at it and I like that about it now because this bike has seven different levels of pedal assist it makes it nice because you can find a pedal assist level that is just right for you you know uh, when you have fewer pedal assist settings, then you have less options to find a speed that is just, you know, comfortable where you want it to be. So I appreciate having seven levels of pedal assist. Right now, we're cruising along at uh, uh, almost 14 miles per hour, and we're in pedal assist four. Now, one thing I want you to notice right here is pretty much the only thing you're going to hear right now is the tire noise. I don't hear the motor. Uh, you probably can't hear the motor at all either. It's just a super quiet motor. It's strong, it's, it's powerful, it's got uh, good torque, it's got good pickup speed and go. Uh, but on top of all that, it's just nice and quiet. And I really appreciate that because who wants to ride a bike that has a noisy motor that's just kind of screaming down the street? Now sure, as we pick up speed here, you're gonna hear it kick in a little bit. Just a slight hum. It's not a high-pitched noise. It's just letting you know that it's engaged and it's doing what it's meant to do. So the top speed on this bike is 20 miles per hour and I don't believe you can uh, uh, unlock that. So that's just how it's going to be. For being a really long bike, you can tell uh, if you're used to riding e-bikes and you've ridden something that's a little bit smaller, a little bit shorter, uh, you'll definitely notice that this bike is a little bit longer so it's not quite as nimble on really sharp turns um, but you know it, it's it's still fine I can still get on and off sidewalks and make sharp 90 degree turns with it I just swing a little wider than maybe I do on some other bikes now one of the things I do like about this is that you know you got full throttle even in pedal assist one so we're on pedal assist one and we're just going to give it full throttle and we're just going to shoot on up here to 20 miles an hour as far as the brakes yeah we can lock them up if we needed to and uh, we do come to a pretty quick stop so i like the brakes they just feel really good you know some brakes are just really spongy and they need adjustments and things but uh, these hydraulic brakes, they, they're great right out of the box. Uh, you don't have to pull that handle very far before you get a lot of, you get a lot of meat there, you know. Uh, it just really grips good. Watch this guy right here. First he said F, and then he said sorry. So that'll teach him something. Hey guys, let's take our cargo e-bike across the grass again, just because we can. All right, we'll get away from some of that traffic. Now check this out, if you follow the link down below and go and check out the AdMotor website and poke around a little bit, there's a few things you'll learn. One being, if you learn about this battery, a couple of nice things about it. They're using an updated uh, Samsung, I believe it was, battery cells. And what that gives you is, it, these cells carry or they'll hold uh, a little more energy, okay, than the standard cells. So that gives you just a little extra energy, a little extra power, so that's nice. They are name brand cells, which is great. However, as you poke around out there, one of the things you'll also learn is that some of their batteries are UL certified. But currently only some of the e-bikes are UL certified. And unfortunately, the, the Edmotor M81 does not appear to be. I didn't see anything on there that said that it was one of them that was. But that's okay, they're still using Samsung uh, you know, battery cells, which I really like and appreciate.
And it's also nice to know that they're moving in that direction and they're moving towards uh, you know, having their newer models UL certified. Now another thing you'll notice as you're out there poking around on the Edmotor website is just the many options that they give you as far as colors and styles of e-bikes because they carry a lot of different uh, models but each model comes in many different color variations and some of them uh, you know they're even they come in different sizes so for instance the new trike the e310 that uh, we're waiting delivery on that one also comes in three different sizes and multiple different colors so they really they really give the consumer options all right guys that's going to be it for this video of the Edmotor m81 i hope you enjoyed that review stick around because i've got a lot of videos coming out about this bike right here we're going to do some uh adding some accessories making a few changes and getting it ready for my 250 mile uh, four day trip and you're not going to want to miss those videos so make sure you subscribe if you're new here hey if you like this video give me a thumbs up and uh, if you have any questions about this bike or any others make sure you drop them down below and i'm happy to get right back to you hey that's it until the next video ride safe